Hi, welcome back from Galaxy S2 Root.com for this week's ROM of the week um, for the Galaxy S2 GTI 9100 and AT&T Galaxy S2 SGH i777. Check out Resurrection Remix ROM, the latest version 5.1.1. Um, this is better than ever, and I've been trying a bunch of different um, KitKat ROMs this week, and uh, I found that um, some of them are buggy, so I went back to this one. And uh, it's been a while since we covered it. Uh, last time we covered it was February 12th. Um, so definitely get the latest version if you're already on this uh, Resurrection Remix. Um, it's going to definitely give you, uh, you know, the latest, latest version of Resurrection Remix. Uh, let me go ahead and go over some of the stuff you can do. And for AT&T Galaxy S2, um, I've got the render kernel on here, which allows you to use it on the SGHI 777. Um, also, I've got it overclocked to 1.4 gigahertz, uh, which is good. Let me go ahead and show you that first. You can go to performance menus uh, and go to processor, and you'll be able to overclock to 1.4 gigahertz. I'm not sure on the GTI 9100. Um, I think it does come with the overclock with kernel. Um, so definitely overclock it. It's going to make it slightly faster, uh, slightly zippier. And uh, you can go ahead and customize all of your stuff in Resurrection Tools under settings menu. All right, let's take a look at the interface first here. If you go to interface, um, you'll see status bar. You'll be able to enable your traffic bar monitor like I did here. Uh, and I know some of you probably um, seen this overview of this ROM, so you can go ahead and skip it. But uh, I just want to show you again for those of you who never tried this ROM. Uh, brightness control, this is great. You can go ahead and uh, control your brightness easily. Show notification count if you have um, emails, uh, Facebook, uh, tweets and stuff. It'll show you how many you have at the uh, when you get notifications. Um, so that is nice. That's pretty much standard on most AOSP ROMs. Um, go to quick settings. You'll be able to enable quick pull down. Uh, I suggest make that right or left. So if you go to the right, you'll get the tiles. If you go to the left, you get your notifications. A smart pull down is even better. Set that to dismissible. If you have no notifications, now every time you go to the right or the left, you'll get you'll get. Uh, no, pfft, there we go. Uh, every time you go to the right or the left, you'll get the quick settings there. Um, so very nice stuff. Tile styles. Um, you'll notice that I have five tiles. You can go ahead and set that to five uh, from the default three and uh, get more tiles. And you can go ahead and customize your tiles and layout here. Um, go ahead and add all of these different uh, tiles. Quick toggles. Um, that's nice and network mode, some miscellaneous stuff here. Let's go into notification drawer. Uh, notification pull down, you can go ahead and set your custom pull down. So when you pull it down, you get a background image of your favorite stuff. Choose a custom image and um, that's nice. And uh, there we go, some more stuff. Um, recent apps, you can switch to the slim recent st uh, style if you want to. Um, so instead of the standard AOSP, you can get this nice uh, slim style there. And let's go and see the progress bar. You can go ahead and customize that. Expand the desktop uh, if you want it. Um, this will get rid of the status bar also. And also, it does come with soft keys. You can go ahead and go to navigation bar. Set that to 0 dp, and that will get rid of the navigation uh, buttons, soft buttons there. Left-handed mode and... Uh, lock screen. Here we go. Notification peak. Show show the latest notification after picking up your uh, device. So this is sort of like lock screen notifications, and you can also enable lock screen notifications, which is great. Um, I love having being able to see my notifications on my lock screen. I'll show you in a second when I get some notifications here, uh, which I can't show you because I didn't get any notifications. Uh, hardware buttons, you can go ahead and uh, change these buttons. Um, I usually like to set double tap to um, Google, Google Now, and uh, you can set it to different, whatever you want to do. Uh, let's try that. Double tap. Oop. Okay, it's not working just as well. It should work a lot better on the S2 because it's, you actually have a button. Um, that could be why. Ah, come on. All right, there we go. And let's go to the next one here. Uh, go back to Resurrection Tools. Hardware buttons, advanced, um, some more stuff. App bar, if you want this. Uh, app bar is great. You can go ahead and set up your apps here. 
and just just go ahead and uh, there we go click and drag or hold and drag and go ahead and save and make sure you set the trigger um, I like to set the height a little bit smaller like this and I like to set it uh, as high as possible away from the bottom area because um, it does interfere with your keyboard and also when you swipe your screens uh, but having it up on the upper left makes the most sense and you can test it out like this and you may want to make the width bigger because sometimes it doesn't trigger if it's not big enough um, so this is nice and anytime you want to access your app bar boom um, so very nice stuff and there's a couple more shortcuts you can use Omni switch you can go ahead and enable this um, this is sort of like Pi, similar to the app bar, a uh, little bit more advanced. Screen recording, you can go ahead and screen record and also even record audio. Um, there you go. And that's about it. Uh, but uh, looking really good. And uh, again, Resurrection Remix. Um, this ROM started with this phone. So this has to be like one of the better versions. or if not the best version of Resurrection Remix. Um, so if you have a Galaxy S2, definitely, if you have not tried this ROM, definitely check out the latest Android 4.4.2 KitKat version. Um, this is the latest version. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And I should have more ROM overview soon. Uh, but in the meanwhile, um, definitely my recommendation is to run Resurrection Remix. Uh, and there's a bunch of ROMs on my site you can try also. Uh, and do let me know which one you like the best. And uh, as always, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyst2root.com if you have a Galaxy S2. And I will see you guys soon. Stay high on Android.